Good morning, Britain. Bumper profits expected at NatWest after a chaotic week for the bank. The taxpayer-owned group has now lost its chief executive just days after the boss of Coots, which is owned by NatWest, resigned in the row over the closure of Nigel Farage's bank account. Meanwhile, Britain's most famous community banker said he's spoken to dozens of people furious at the way they've been treated by the big banks. Dave Fishwick is with us after seven. Climate change is here, it is terrifying, and it is just the beginning. The era of global boiling has arrived. That's the warning from the United Nations, as July is on track to be the world's hottest month on record. In Greece, wildfires trigger a series of explosions at an ammunition depot. TV star Laura Whitmore reveals her ordeal at the hands of a stalker and how the police response left her feeling mortified. And as Keir Starmer reveals he didn't let his children eat meat until they were 10, we're asking, is it fair to dictate your children's diet? Or should they be free to eat anything from steak to salad? Debating that after 8 o'clock. Today is one of sunshine and showers. That theme continues into the weekend with temperatures remaining around average. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Friday. 28th of July, 2023. Live from Television Centre in London, this is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Charlotte Hawkins. Hello there, good morning. It's just gone six o'clock. We are in peak holiday season now, aren't we? Very much so. Lots of people jetting off left, right and centre. And it seems that sunbed etiquette is in the news a lot. Getting a prime position around the pool, making sure you get a sunbed is one of the key challenges when you're staying in a big hotel or whether you want to go to the beach, right? Yeah. Uh, there was some footage yesterday that somebody filmed in his hotel.